Welcome to Paraiso Hills. We're in the gated section today, looking at this beautiful four bedroom, end of terrace townhouse. It's got many advantages to being end of terrace, no passing traffic, and also a much wider garden, as well as many more windows than you would normally get in a four bedroom townhouse here on Paraiso Hills. As I said, it's a gated complex, so very secure. It's a bit early this morning, sun not fully out yet. I think it's a lovely way to see the house. So we're going to start here on the ground floor and let's go straight through to the living room. You can see the living room has access out to the lovely private garden. Beautifully presented. Very good quality furnishings, curtains, royals. It's really been well looked after this property. It's not been rented out, it's just used for family members. As well as the lovely fireplace, you've got air conditioning on each floor. There's also shutters on all these windows for security and to use as blackout. Really is a beautiful room. Really, the flow continues out here onto the terrace and into the lovely garden. As I mentioned before, because you're on the corner, you do get a much wider garden than most properties here in Paraiso Hills. This nice side area. If you're thinking of moving here with a family, this is a great place to hide away the kids' toys, maybe a trampoline, football goals. The gardener just started up his uh, blower in the background. So from out here, you can really see the house very well. You've got the top floor with a roof terrace, a bedroom, and it's an ensuite bathroom. First floor with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. A nice terrace on this side and a Juliet balcony on the other. And then this lovely space that we enjoy. You can see the gates in the garden are for the gardener to access. The community maintains all the gardens here. Make sure your grass is kept neat and tidy. Really is a super house for entertaining lots of areas that you can use depending on the weather. side window letting in extra light. Not so cold here today but the fire is a lovely feature. So we'll head back now into the hallway. You can see the two doors off to the left. One is an understair cupboard and the other a guest toilet. And from here 
we can head on into the kitchen. Again, extra light here thanks to the side window. Lots of cupboard space and perhaps more importantly, lots of worktop. And through here, we have the utility room. You can see here that the utility has a covered ceiling, which some owners have chosen to put in here in Paraiso Hills. It means that you've got a lot more that you can use this space for. You can use it securely for storage and uh, nothing's going to get wet. And these guys have got the washing machine and tumble dryer and some storage for cleaning equipment. You could also use it for golf clubs. You've got a side door here that comes from the driveway. You could put your bikes in here. And as if these owners have done with the royals on the door and the window, you don't have to look at whatever you've got stored there. So now let's head upstairs and have a look at the bedrooms. Here we are now on the first floor landing of this four bedroom townhouse. We'll take a look through to one of the guest bedrooms. As you can see the guest bedroom has access onto this lovely terrace. All the bedrooms in this house have their own temperature control for the air conditioning so you're not wasting money by keeping rooms cool or heated where there's nobody staying. Lovely view of the garden from this terrace and of La Concha. As you can see here you can also access the terrace from the master bedroom. Nice that your guests have some independent access out to the terrace if they're early risers or night owls, I suppose. The very spacious guest bedrooms. You can see this one's got two single beds. So ideal if you've got families coming to stay or golfers. Have a look now at the family bathroom. And usually in this house, every bathroom has its own window. Which is great for ventilation. And this is the third bedroom, which has its own Juliet balcony. Lovely for enjoying your book in the sunshine. Heading now into the master bedroom. You've got direct access from here out to the first floor terrace. Very nicely presented. And with its own ensuite bathroom that has, as well as a bath, it has a shower that's separate. And again, because we're on the end of the building, you have a window out of the bathroom. Nicely finished in travertino marble.
lots of wardrobe space in this room. So from here we'll head on up to the fourth bedroom on the second floor and have a look at those wonderful views. Here we are upstairs now on the second floor, coming into bedroom number four. You can see this bedroom leads out onto the large roof terrace that we have here in Paraiso Hills. This bedroom's got its own shower room, perfect for guests, or if you'd rather use it as an office space or playroom or TV room. Heading out now onto the roof terrace. It's beautiful up here. It's got views of La Concha and of the sea. Plenty of space for dining, for relaxing. Because it's on the end of the building and wraps around the house, you can find a sunny patch on here most of the day. And we're here quite early this morning, so the sun's just waking up. Some storage units up here, great for putting the cushions away. down into the garden. La Concha over to the left. And then I can see the sea with some boats chugging along in the distance. Wonderful space up here for relaxing, reading a book, enjoying a cup of tea or a gin and tonic. And of course, thanks to its size, it's perfect for entertaining on an evening. So that concludes the tour of this four bedroom house in Paraiso Hill, Del Paraiso. Before we'll go, we'll have a look at the community swimming pool. There's actually two on this complex, along with paddle tennis courts. We can just see the pool through there. We'll go and have a closer look.